Over the past couple of years, it's been near impossible to buy a Rolex from an authorized dealer. At one point, you would walk into a shop and there would be literally nothing. There'd be cabinets and shelves that were empty. There wouldn't even be a watch you could look at. You'd put your name down on a wait list and you'd be waiting for months upon months upon months and potentially never even hear back. Rolex marginally changed this when they brought in demonstration models. However, even then you couldn't buy them. They just created the appearance of a watch that might exist somewhere in the ether. One that you probably would never actually be able to buy. However, this might be about to change, in part due to supply increases and also in part due to demand going down. Rolex has reportedly committed to putting another billion dollar factory, which would generate another 2,000 jobs and cover a land area of some 10 football fields. This is important because Rolex does appear to be slightly supply constrained. Rolex has specifically stated that they're supply constrained in the past, and this appears to be backed up by data, such as it is. According to Hodinki, supply has increased between 2015 and 2021, going up around 25%. Rolex has been increasing production, just not as much as demand has been increasing, particularly on the back of a bull market where cryptocurrencies and stocks had been soaring in the lead up to the end of 2021. With supply increasing, we might finally be at a stage where supply starts to almost meet demand. Rolex probably won't create more watches than there is demand. They'll probably produce watches just below the demand level. However, it will make many watches slightly more attainable. They'll probably still keep incredibly in demand watches in very short supply, creating a degree of scarcity. However, it will make it easier for many people to go out and buy watches. You then add on to this what's happening in the markets. Cryptocurrencies have tanked throughout 2022. In addition, the stock market has gone down significantly and we're looking at heading into a recession, suggesting that people's disposable income might be slightly declining. And this is broadly across the luxury space in addition to the economy more generally. Because while many people are cashed up, that's not the case in all locations. And it won't be the case for all watches that Rolex is producing. In addition, not only do you have a reduction in your spending power, you have a reduction in the so-called wealth effect. That is, as stock values and cryptocurrencies and real estate will start to decline, people will feel less wealthy. So they'll be less inclined to go out and spend money on a watch, even if they have the cash flow to do so. They'll feel more pessimistic and be more likely to hoard their cash. Subsequently, demand might also slightly taper down. So when we're seeing supply potentially start heading toward increasing and demand potentially decreasing a little bit, we might head back toward equilibrium and head back more toward a situation where the supply is only marginally below demand. So you might be able to realistically go out and buy a Rolex from an authorized dealer by waiting a few months. This of course will still create a price premium for those people who are willing to wait those few months. They might still be able to go in and buy a watch and sell it for what they paid on the secondary market. However, here the premium is really coming from being willing to wait. It's coming from not being impatient. And that's a more normal market. One that is also slightly less risky than really betting on a supply constrained bubble. And in any case, that's a bit of an update about what's happening with Rolex. If you have any thoughts about this new factory and about whether it will actually make any difference, I would be interested to hear that in the comments below. And otherwise, thanks a lot for tuning in. And hopefully you like the video and subscribe to the channel. And hopefully I will see you for future videos as well.